I look at it this way. I had one shot. A Hail Mary pass. But how do you structure a warning that the gods in New York will read and heed? I was one of 375,000 employees in the largest corporation in the world. And I was in Irving, Texas. <laughs> How do you get a warning to New York that they're going to read, they're going to heed? And I was agonizing over this. I was truly agonizing trying to figure this out when I decided to take a day of vacation and go to a corporate governance conference. All right, I needed the CBE. <laughs> I sent it to Robert Rubin, who the next day was named chairman of the board. I also sent it to the chief auditor, the chief financial officer, the chief risk officer. They all have responsibilities under Sarbanes-Oxley. In the first paragraph, I said, I am not a flake. I am your business chief underwriter. I am a CPA. A. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have put the CPA. <laughs> and then, in the second paragraph, I set the hook. Breakdowns in internal controls. Unrecognized financial losses. And then in the rest of the email, I told the story about how I had started issuing warnings in June of 2006. The volumes had increased. The rate of defective mortgages had increased from 60% to an excess of 80%. And then also in the email, I called for an outside investigation. I said, come in here from the outside and investigate what's going on. Because everybody here already knows. <laughs>